The nice weather continues, it's Monday morning and I have shoes without holes in them and I'm going to cycle to the lab. Two lectures today and that's it I think. This is the last week with lectures before the exams. Only three more days left. And then we get like a week and a half to revise before exams actually start. We'll carry on for a little bit. And here, each one of these individual ingredients is an option. Got the buttery menu for this week. As usual, it's dominated by salmon and burgers. We've got salmon is one of the options today. They seem to have stopped doing their special of the day thing, which is good. Because when they just wrote special of the day, I didn't know what it really was, so that was just irritating. They've got a burger on Thursday, beef burger with salad or salmon. <laughs> the two favourite things on the same day. And then they've got an antelope burger, apparently, on Saturday. Formal haul menus for this week, not that I'm going, but they've got salmon for the starter on Wednesday and salmon for the starter on Friday. Why do they have so much salmon? Why, why do they think people want salmon more than once a week? I mean, they've got it today and Thursday for normal buttery meals. And then they've got it Wednesday and Friday for the formal haul. So you could, if, you, if you chose the wrong days for formal haul, you could end up having salmon Monday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday this week. I know plenty of people like salmon, but I don't think anyone wants it every day. The alternative is a burger, which is not really very healthy, is it? Or we could go to the bar for food, where they serve burgers. I've installed Magic Lantern on my Canon 600D, which is custom firmware, which adds loads of features. So it's success. So this should be cool. I've just been looking at the stuff that we'll be covering in the last artificial intelligence lecture, which will be on Wednesday. And my god, look at how complicated this looks. I mean, it's just full of these crazy graphs and lots of maths. This does not look fun. You expect artificial intelligence to be really cool and interesting and modern and you're like, yeah, this is how Siri works and Google Now and things like that, but it's just, it's just a course full of equations and algorithms and horrible things like that. It's a very complicated course and there's a course next year, um, Artificial Intelligence 2. Next year, everything is more optional. We can choose which modules we do because this year we get no choice at all, really. Uh, so I could choose AI2 next year, but if AI1 is anything to go by, it'll be impossible. I think the nice weather might have come to an end. It's forecast for heavy rain and thunderstorms today, although it's still quite warm. Today I'm going to film a supervision. I've agreed with my supervisor to do this. I'm not sure how it'll turn out, but hopefully you'll at least get to see a clip of what a real supervision is like. Because so far, I haven't done that because it's, I mean, it's not usually acceptable unless I arrange beforehand to do this. I can't just get a camera out in a supervision. But the first thing that's happening this morning is a part two project briefing. Part two, the part of the course that we do in our third year, next year, uh, we have a personal project to do which takes up a large part of the year. We need to come up with the project ourselves, as far as I'm aware and find a supervisor to supervise us doing the project. I don't know too many details, but that's what I'm going to find out at 10 o'clock today. Okay, so I've just had lunch and now I'm going to this supervision that I'm going to film and this supervision is Concepts in Programming Languages 
which is a slightly strange course. It's about lots of ideas that were introduced in various programming languages over the last 50 years or so. We look at lots of old languages like Fortran and Algol 60 and we look at new strange languages like Scala. This supervision is in Queens with my director of studies as opposed to in the lab which is where most of my supervisions are this year. Whether it's passed by reference, passed by value or passed by value result. Yeah. Um, which can be done. Um, but yeah, just, just don't get caught out. Things like that easily cause you pain in the exams. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're going to talk about objects and um, type checking and things like that. Uh, this exception poly of alpha and ref empty list thing, almost all of you got right answers for this. Did you know it, or did you have to go and try it in an ML interpreter? Well, uh, I had to try it, but I mean, ML is type safe, right? So can it, you can't actually try it. Like, yeah, it yeah, it gives you a bit, at least yeah. it gives you some information, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah th this is the... Um, this is like the the classic thing about this course. Like these, the, this is why this is a gamble in the exam if you want to take this course. Yeah. Because if you know this stuff, then you write down the answer, and if you don't, then you're screwed. And like you can't really control it. Mm. And if you look at the class paper questions, sometimes they are really really easy, and it's like you know write something about Fortran, and you're like, okay, here it is. Mm. And other times it's this, and you might be stuffed. And so it's like a good one to have in your back pocket because you might get lucky, but on the other hand, you might also get stuffed. And so you want to make sure you have choice. Mm. You remember what we talked about earlier this term, like the best strategy in the exam is to answer the questions you can get the most marks on. And so <laughs> you just have to be aware of how to do that. Mm. I hope that was interesting. I nearly burnt my camera, forcing it to record for an hour. Going back to the same supervisor's office now for another supervision, a group one. Rescheduled from Wednesday morning. And I'm late. That's why I'm running out of breath. Last two lectures of the year today. If I fail my exams, it'll be the last two lectures ever, but I'm not going to worry about that yet. I don't understand why the Intel lab is always so empty on a morning. It's a nice place to work, and we have to be here anyway for lectures. The last lecture of the year is going to be on multi-layer perceptrons, apparently. This was the horrible maths at the end of the lecture slides for AI I was looking at the other night. I forgot to hand in my complexity theory supervision work when I was at the lab earlier, which I'm really annoyed about. So I'm going to the library to scan it and I'll email it to my supervisor, because I'm not going back to the lab just to hand this in. Going back to my director of studies office again for like the third time in 24 hours for a revision supervision type thing with all six of us this time. On computer networking, Queen's Komsky DOS is quite dedicated and is willing to help us a lot, which is really good. Probably sensible, so it's probably right. Um, but we, we, we can check Sam. Um, right now, Mr. you said RTSC yes. Yes, please. So, um, uh, if Wi-Fi has um, like an additional, there's, there's some special way that you can signal. Uh, again, I'm um, not unless you can tell me to.